This is the sugar country of central Luzon. Rich, fat, and sure of itself. Pretending to be at peace. Though the sounds of war grow loud, and the invading Japanese draw near. Hello, Charlie. Where can I find this wolf, huh? Out in the field of Cotton King. They're working very hard, Reverend. Thanks, Charlie. I want to talk to you at the house. Let's make it fast. Mr. French? Yes, Miss Wolf. I expect those trucks in from Manila in about two hours. You're being pretty optimistic, aren't you, Miss Wolf? I don't think they're gonna make it. You take care of your business, Mr. French. I'll take care of mine. Yes, Miss Wolf. Now. I'm going to be calm and reasonable, Justine. All I ask is that you try to be the same. I'm relaxed. What's on your mind? Thank you, Charlie. Darby? Really, Justine, this is no time for humor. There's no time for juleps or cane cutting or anything but escape. Charlie, will you ask Keto to come in, please? Yes, ma'am. Really, Darby, you're taking this much too seriously. How long do you intend to wait? Until the Japanese move up to the door of this house? Until you're blasted into kingdom come? I have a bit more confidence in the United States Army than you seem to have. You can hear the gunfire from the other side of the mountain. What are you waiting for? I have a crop to ship. I'll never understand you. Hito, did you speak with George Camden about his refinery? He's gone, Miss Wolf. Left the islands with his family as the government has ordered. They're clearing out like rats. Giving up everything they've ever worked for. Father would never budge from this spot. Forget about Hanford. He was a pig-headed old sinner who would have sold his life for a new patch of land. This land. Whose will it be next month? His. As long as I'm here to work his ground and feed his people. His people? God's people. And when the time comes, they'll know what to do. And so will you. Darby, why don't you worry about your mission? Let me worry about my farm. I have no mission. They're all gone. Men, women, children, animals, into the hills. I'm sorry. Do you wish to go over the books, Miss Wolf? No, not just now, Hito. I... What's the matter with your arm? N nothing, Miss Wolf. I fell, uh, coming out of the cellar. Did someone hurt you? One of our people? I fell. I understand. I know what you must be thinking. Do you, Miss Wolf? Do you know what I see in everyone's eyes? Which side will Hito Matsumo choose?
close. I want to see. like wild beasts before a storm, leaving only their dead. They just can't disappear like this. Some must be left, a few to help us. They help only themselves now. We'd better return to Hanford House, where there are corners and shadows in which to think. It's empty. Everybody's left, bag and baggage. Even the parrot flew south. I can't say that I blame them. There's nothing left. It took ten minutes. Like birth and death. Now, we've got the Reverend's pickup truck. It's got a full tank of gas, ten gallons of water, and five cases of canned goods. I'll drive you as far as Lucino. After that, you're on your own. He'll drive us to Manila. Lucina, you can cut my severance pay. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Make it fast. I'll be back. Artillery barrage. No telling from which army. Can we get the car started, Mr. French? Forget it. You mean we walk? That's it, Reverend. Sometimes run. I believe I'm the one to decide whether or not we... Take them. At least we're farther from that. Oh, Darby, look at us. Running and running away from our own home.
Come on. Matsumohito desu. Nihon jin ni miru de shou? What does he want? Didn't say yet. Sama wa dochira no mekata da? America jin desu. Sore wa kimi no shoushiki da. Oi! Warewari wa tadaima makasa no buka wo taiho shita no da. What was that? He said they've just caught Makato's general staff. He mentioned something about my funeral. Warewari wa senso shita iru no da. He's got no time to fool around with civilians. He's got a war to fight. He's leaving this private to guard us. And that I'll be shot when they take me in. Looks like you get both ends of the stick. Yes. Hey, go! Baka. So they were amicato ni yorimasu, ne? No, no. Hey. Hey, Ike. American. Embarrassing, isn't it? Isn't what? I'm letting them get this far. <laughs> well, what's so funny? Do we have thousands and thousands of troops here in the Philippines? Sure. Over a hundred thousand. More than enough, I should think. Look how well Wake Island is doing with only 400. Wake is small. Hard to get a tow hold on. They'll hold out when the last plane is shot down. MacArthur will stand until his artillery is knocked out. But reinforcements. There won't be any. This is a brand new war. No, I want you to move right off the Philippines, start from scratch. You seem to have a broad knowledge of military matters, Mr. French. No one has a broad knowledge of anything, Reverend. I know as much and as little about military matters as you do about religion. Now that was uncalled for. Tobacco! Tobacco! What does he want? Cigarette. Wait, wait. We are fighting in America. わりわりはアイオアイアジアジア人で殺しでやるのだ君もアジア人だろわりわりと一緒にならいさあ女やこれもまれを騙し討ちにするのは殺人だ戦争は不国されておったその通じかなとでだろそれは嘘だ嘘
クルスト・ノモラゴとアメリカのハロと話し合っている最中、これを騙し打ち言えないかいアメリカのプロパガンダで同意しで平和になれるか、アメリカは我々を苦しみた。僕をアメリカ人と呼んでくれたね。ありがとう。動か、食われるかで、それでは戦うのだ。We move out. Now we've got one minute to get to know each other. And let's get one thing straight. From now on, I'm the boss. As of today, I've resigned from the Hannaford Wolf Plantation System. I don't know any of you very well. And if you're like most people, I don't want to. But we're going to get out of this jungle and we're going to do it my way. Anyone who wants to argue can take off now. Good. Now let's find out who we picked up here. Larry Peters, seaman first class. What are you doing so far inland? Well, I'm lost. Lost? Yeah, you see, the thing of it is, I was on a ship with some other guys, and we heard shooting, and they went ashore to see what was up. I was supposed to guard the ship. Well, they never come back, so I went looking for them. That was four days ago. You deserted your post. Well, I was afraid they were shot. Mr. French, he saved our lives. Strictly by accident. Now, hold it, buddy. I could have gone off and left you in the soup, and you know it. All right, you're a hero. Now, where's this ship you're supposed to guard? Um... Alaco. Where's that? Like I told you, man, I'm lost. I can find it. Do west of here. All right, the minute's up. Jungle Jim, we're on your side. Take it easy with that thing, huh? Who are you? Sabateo Trinidad. Gaetano Gato. I'm Del Rosario. Gorillas? <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, you can help us get the pal of coal. You got a boat? Sure, we got a great one. Okay, we make a deal. We help you, you help us out of this trap. All right, we wasted enough time. Let's move. <laughs> There she is. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Oh. We're looking for a ship. It can't be that wreck. Hold it, buddy. That's the USS Frankenstein. Seized, commissioned, and put into service just last week. Commission? That's right. See, the thing of it is, me and these other guys was on liberty, see? And we come back, our ship was all bombed out and halfway underwater and everybody was gone. So we took some of the crates off, and put them on that tub and took off. When? Well, does it work? Sure, it works good. Will it get us to Corregidor? Well, I don't know for sure, but I reckon so. All right. How do we get out there? Just walk right on out. Water don't get no deeper than four feet. All right, come on, let's walk. <laughs> Battleship gray paint. That's great. All them boxes down there is the same. Well, I should have known better. No food, no fuel, no ammunition, guns, nothing. Paint's pretty valuable. Did you ever try eating it? Here's a navigation chart. I want you to get us south to one of the small ports on Mindanao. Who, me? Never make it. We got only enough gas for a 50-mile run. Well, so much for Mindanao. We can't run the blockade of Manila Bay. The country all south of there is taken. We got to keep out of sight of land. Hold it, buddy. I can't do this kind of stuff. Chart courses and read sextons and such like. What do you mean you can't? Well, I slept through classes in boot just like everybody else. What kind of an idiot are you anyway? Well, I don't know. Maybe we don't need anything but the map. There's a little army depot here in Cebuyan. If it's still running, we could get gas there. Cebuyan? Yep. Look, man, I'm sorry, huh? Dead reckoning. Well, there's plenty of reefs, small islands in here. We'll set a course at 240. You think you can steer a straight course? I think I can do that. Well, I'm going to take a look at the engine in this rust bucket. Are you always so pleasant to get along with, Mr. French? This is one of my better days, Mr. Edwards. By the way, are you a pacifist? Yes, I am. How can we possibly lose? There are 7,083 islands in the Philippines, and they all look exactly alike. I've got to find one of them, Saboya. To get there, I'm assisted by the most unbelievable crew of characters ever to sail the seas. I don't enjoy playing wet nurse, but I'm stuck with a job, and with them. We have just one thing in common. We're all on the run. Out of port! Go. This don't look like no army camp I ever saw. Sabateo says it's inland from here. Cut that jabbering. Come on, let's go. He sure is a mean cut.
Don't shoot. Where y'all going? We're going into Savoyan to get some gas. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Looks like they're getting ready for a big blowout. Sure does. Sergeant? Who are you? The name is French. I've got a boatload of civilians down there in the bay. I'm sorry, I got no time. Look, Sergeant, we need gas and weapons. Just a second. Gas, huh? There goes your gas. All of it? No, we've got enough left to fire these buildings. There's going to be one whale of a war here in about 20 minutes. These buildings are going up in five of those minutes. Well, what about weapons? Right over there. Help yourself. Come on. Make it snappy. What do you got there, soldier? Well, I don't know if it's ethyl or regular, but you better not smoke. Give it to him. The sergeant wants you to clean up that building over there. What do you mean, clean it off? Hold it, soldier. Talk to him, kid. Hold it for a minute, will you, buddy? Try. Come and get it. You got a light? Sure. You got a butt? Stick it in my mouth, will you, huh? Say, you got any more of them things? Yes, yeah, Sal, I managed. Yeah, there you Thank go. Thank you. You sure are a nice fella. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised to find a fella like you in the Army. How long you been in the service? Where's that cook tent? Right over here, what's left of it. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you Martin French? That's right. Well, you're Colonel McCutcheon. Well, it's been a long time since you disrupted my mechanized warfare class, hasn't it? That's right, sir. I'd say about 12 years. You didn't stay in. No, sir, I didn't. Colonel, I'm in a bad way. I've got a boatload of civilians down there in the lagoon, and we need gas desperately. Martin, this depot is yours for the taking, and it will be taken soon by the enemy. I believe I can show you where the nearest fuel is located, but I doubt whether you'll want to go looking for it. Where? Here. See that road? By your thumb. Convoys. One every 16 minutes. They move down this trail bringing artillery, tanks, and ammunition. A most powerful force. Unfortunately, the ammunition and the gas is Japanese. Well, why don't they pull you out of here? How? By dugout canoe? Well, we could take a few. No thanks. We've got our orders. Well, good luck to you, Colonel. And thank you. Good luck to you, Martin. You should have stayed in. See you around, General. Oh. No matter how black things look for you, it's always blacker for someone else. Those men at the depot had to stay and die. And we have a chance, a nice fat chance, to seek out the Nipponese and take their gas so that we can again run away from them.
you guys see that lot back there? I want you to get back there on it. I'm going up that point much for that truck. Now, when I give you the signal, I want you to shove that log out in the road. Okay. Man, are you out of your mind? You just shove that log out in the road when I give you the signal. You got it? Sure. All right, fellas. Come on out. I'm gonna cut you up. I'm gonna cut you down, okay? <laughs> they should have turned this one back. All right. Down. Right down the cliff. Get a map. Justine, Darby, get the other side of the boat. Mendoro, and 
these islands here. The Calamians. Which puts us just west of the northern tip of Palawan. The end of the Philippines. Well, I don't trust this wreck on the high seas. Neither do I, but I'm not about to hop off and swim. <laughs> no. No, our best bet is to stay in close, keep out of sight of land, follow the west coast of Palo and south for a while. Suppose it's not in friendly hands. It will be. The Japanese move is still on the strategic level. They'll concentrate on the key points of resistance. They won't mop up these isolated spots until their rear is secured. I have a strong feeling we'll make it. I think the Frankenstein is on our side. Sure is trying awful hard. You know what the preacher here says? He says we're all phantoms on a spectral ship that's gonna go on and on forever. Ain't that right, <laughs> Peter and I were talking about it. We've decided we're tracking the moon through the river of time. That lighthouse keepers and old mariners will talk of us and call us the ghost of the China Sea. I'm glad someone's got time to kill. So am I, Martin. I'd rather kill all the time in the world than one more human being. What do you know about killing? You've got to pull the trigger yourself to understand it. You've got to experience the horror of deliberately punching holes in a man, knowing he wants to live and go home, knowing that you've got to get him out of the way. So you wipe out all the years of his growth, brutally and coldly. Don't preach to me about killing, Darby. I know it better and despise it more deeply than you ever will. Well, it's like Martin says, nobody likes to go around butchering people. But sometimes it just has to be done. The thing of it is, I was kind of scared when I started out. But now I kind of wish I could get back there and mix it up some more, pay him back for some of the fellas that started out with me. Big talk, little man. Hold it, buddy. You call me yellow once too often. Now you're going to take it back. Now you're, you're going to take Stop it. it. He did it again. I don't know why. I guess he must hate me. I guess he must hate everybody. Do you? I apologize. Anything else? to start. I never met a woman who could resist. Resist you? No, resist the temptation to tell me just why I'm such a stinker. I've been called everything from a homicidal maniac to an idiot. It probably depended on the mood you were in at the moment. Then you think I could be both? Mm-hmm. I think you could appear to be. I think you put on faces. Don't you? I used to every morning. I think you put on different faces for different people. You have a complete wardrobe of faces. <laughs> well, which one do you dislike the most? Mm, the face of the humble mechanic who was so close to the soil with his yes, Miss Wolf, no, Miss Wolf. I didn't like that one much either. Right now, you're wearing your reasonable face. Because you have nothing to do but sit here and humor me. But I'm not fooled. You wore your real face the day you said, I'm the boss. That moment, you were all Martin French. Angry, intent, wanting to be footloose and primitive. But we were in the way, weren't we? You still are. You never lean on anyone, do you? That's the easiest way to fall down. Which means you've done some pretty hopeful leaning in your time. I wonder how many falls you had to take before you decided to stay down. I'm really not as smart as all this. Darby's done most of the thinking. I suppose he's figured me out along theological lines. Ask him. But you have to lean once in a while. If you don't, your soul gets tired. That was Darby. 
Mm-hmm. But I go along with it. If you decided people can't be trusted, they can't. You find fault in everyone. You work at it all day long. It must be awful lonesome. What'd she do? Marry the shoe salesman? A woman always thinks it's a woman, seated sex. But I forgive you. Thanks a lot. No, seriously, you put in a good morning's work. It's refreshing to listen to honest criticism, but I didn't listen too closely. You see, honesty is the real Sarah. She woos you out into the deep water, then she pulls the plug. Oh, you poor man. Been down the drain 50 times. No wonder your heart is so skinny. Sabatillo, cut her off! What now? Oil. No more? She's burning out fast. Maybe not for an hour or so. Well, so much for the good ship junk pile. Maybe no. I seen them crazy tuggerots use coconut oil in their phonographs. Coconut oil? Sure. It's a crazy idea. Have you got a better one? No, I haven't, Mr. Edward. All right, we're going in. All hands start growing tails. Ha, 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 port, Larry. Swing her over. Palawa. A long, narrow dose of malaria. Every time we touch land, we're sticking our heads into the dragon's mouth. But we can't run our engine without oil. Man, I'm getting plum coconut happy. Don't they grow no dad burn hamburgers on this pool island? Sabatillo says to let it thicken in the sun to get rid of the water. Well, that's so. We got enough oil to get us to Kansas City. <sighs> She's quite a girl, isn't she? Justine? I guess so. If you like them temperamental. I think you like them that way. Every man that is a man falls desperately in love at least five times in his life. How many times have you been in love, Martin? Oh, uh, four? Well, if there's ever a fifth, it'll be someone like Justine. Really? What's she like? She's very much like you. The only true difference is age. She's very young, really. Too young to have become embittered. She grew up in an atmosphere of love and affection. I rather think that you did, too. Then, as she began to mature, she... she learned that people aren't always so kind and so selfless. The very things you learn. Unlike you, she's accepted mankind for what it is. You can't give up the dream of your youth. There's the pity. This is quite a sermon, Reverend. Despite all that, or maybe because of it, I... I still think she's your type. Really? So what? For the first time since we began this endless voyage, we've had a moment's peace. The Coconut Grove let us think of things other than war. And now we're running short of water. Each move south brings us closer to towns. We've got to shake loose from the Philippines. I think I've mapped out the next leg of our little odyssey. Martin! We're off to the water. Good. Fill the cast at the first clean water you come to. Don't go too far in the jungle. I'm going to send Gate Pano with you. Keep your eye on him. Sure, boss. Army, stay where you are. Now, what's this point here? Flat Island. You don't want to go to west. Why not? We've got to get away from the Philippines as fast as possible. Well, Flat Island is in the middle of the South China Sea. This boat would never make it. She's done all right so far. Hey, buddy.
We'll head straight for flat. We'll pick up fuel and we'll move south to here, from the Tuna Islands. They'll still be in Dutch hands. After that, who knows? If I didn't know you better, I think you feel too good. No, I just think this brings our chances of getting out of here down from a million to one to a thousand. Hey, that's pretty good, huh? <laughs> Carefully. And remember, life, life's the divine gift. Once it's been given, it, it can never end. <clears throat> we, we can distort life, but we can never destroy it. We, we follow it through the light of the day and the shade of the night. And, and we, we must be grateful. Thank you. 
got us, maybe. Not yet, they haven't. minute. We won't make it this time. We will make it. All we have to do is slow them down. How? I will wait for them. You take the boat to the next point south. I will send them north, then join you later. May I have the helmet, please? Peter, no, we're not gonna let you do that. Then we will all die. Please go. Peter, no! Let him go. Give him his chance. was deflected by his ribs. I don't know about the leg. Well, it's still in it. Why did he do it? Don't you know? No, I don't. He won't know either. What do you mean? He's coming! Days behind us lie the bleeding islands and the three who died there. And what do we gain? Another dawn of fear. Another chance to creep and hide. But this time on the infinite sea. Thought you weren't gonna make it. Did Darby make it? Yeah. You made it. Good. Well, you look a thousand percent better today. I feel better. That's wonderful. For as long as I've known you, you've never even felt good. Why the big improvement? 
Oh, I suppose it's because we're past the problem of Larry. Problem? That's a funny way to put it. Well, it was a problem. Larry's become important to me. It's a strange thing. No one's been important to me for a long time. Now Larry is, and in a way, everyone on the boat. Figured it'd warm up one day. No, you don't understand. I could have come and gone and never cared what happened to any one of you. But... Palawan was too much. That's right. You see, what happened back there in one day suddenly made me want to know those men. The things they did, they just shouldn't have done them. I had to know why. And the only people who knew were dead. Darby and Hito died forever the day they came to life. I won't try to explain that. You know what I mean. Larry almost died. I expected him to. And then, somehow, they all changed. They became new men. Men worth knowing. But they only lived that single day. Do you get what I'm driving at? I thought I knew them. I did know them. I knew Darby. Darby was a messenger, a conveyor of old rusty words. He couldn't have done what he did. Hedo was a shadow man, waiting for the light to go on and off. But somehow, he got ahead of his shadow. And Larry, too. The most terrible thing in the world you can call a man is coward. But it's a born part of him, an incurable sickness. With the exception of that one single day. Well, you're wrong. About all of them. Wrong? Yes, you had to be wrong. Because you gave them labels. Darby is a messenger. Hedo is a shadow. Larry, a coward. You made them out of paper, but they were human beings. And a human being is everything. He's all men in one. Oh, the blend may vary, but the ingredients are all there to be called upon when the time comes. It came for each of them, and I think it's come for you. Maybe. Darby was hinting around one day. He said I'd fall in love with you. Darby say that? He got around to me, too. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, he was wrong. Just not my type. I'm not anybody's type. You can't say that. There must be a mad woman somewhere in the world who'd go for you. That's what I've been searching for. My own true raving maniac. <laughs> The horizon is still before us, moving ahead at the same crawling pace as our boat, laughing at our insane efforts to catch up. Gone. He's in shot full of holes. Then we are a ghost ship after all. We're still afloat. Yeah, so's a dead fish. Where's Jaime? You got it. Went over the side. You 
know? They was carrier planes. That's right, they were. Why were there so many? They couldn't have been after this little boat. They were after something bigger, much bigger. The task force, maybe. Maybe they was looking for the Houston and, and the Marblehead. They was around here someplace. They some Dutch ships, too. I seen them in Batavia. Then there's a good chance they'll spot us. America. You wouldn't have to be carrying a lipstick, would you? I must have left it below. What time is it? What time is it? Take uh, it easy. Take it easy. Uh, gotta get up. I've been a bit all day. Oh, what time? Uh, How do you feel? Hot. I ain't never seen it so hot. You want some water? Uh. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, this thing from the bilge. Can't stand it. Oh, the engine keeps me awake. Larry, the engine went... We're drifting west. The fishing boats from Platte Island will see us soon. Yeah, sure. Boy, what a liar you turned out to be. Oh, man, it's hot. Maybe a long beat away. <coughs> <laughs> so now we are through running. We have become a part of the burning sky and the sea. All that is left of our world. What happens to us now is up to someone else. Six pair of socks, black, check. Two pair of ducks, white, check. Two ties, black, check. One razor, check. One brush, check. Six pair undershorts, check. Two pair of shoes, check. They gonna cut my leg off soon. Who? You. We're going to die, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to die. <coughs> See that ship out there? Yeah. That's a Dutch cruiser, Derider. You know how I can tell? How? Oh. They was tied up next to us in Batavia. We all had liberty together. We got plastered, beat the devil out of their crib. Congratulations. They was lucky they got back to their ship. <laughs> If I weren't in love, I'd be even more scared than I am. Martin? What? You know, Darby had a lot of theories about you. I'll bet he did. He talked about you being too much of an idealist. He said that the world could never live up to the standards you'd set for it. You're kind of nibbling around. You're the star of my life, aren't you? Maybe. All right. You asked for it. Let's see. Uh, I was an army officer. Saw a man promoted. Keep from spilling a dirty story about the general's wife. Once I beat a sergeant almost to death for throwing a bottle of rum in a fire. Blew up, put out a man's eye. And I worked as a stevedore. 
Saw the captain of a freighter deliberately order a cargo net full of machine parts. Dropped on two Negro laborers. Oh, there are other jobs and other incidents. I don't want to bother you. Yes, sir. Them Dutch ships is fast, all right. They got a good anti-sub system worked out, too. I'm glad you told me. It's a funny thing. Sailors all over the world wear the same kind of suits. I seen a picture of guys in the World War. We ain't changed our suits any since then. Now you're beginning to trust people again. Now I can afford to. I've got you in this boat. It's not going anywhere. Hey, Marty. Yeah? How many stacks on a Dutch cruiser? I don't know, kid. The thing of it is, I can't remember if the derider had two stacks or three. It's got six. Are oh, you crazy? Take a look for yourself. All right, kid. You're right, sorry. It's a ship. Well, what do you think I've been talking about for 10 minutes? Cheese blintzes? Look at it. They ain't never going to see us. They'll see us. I told you, they can't see us. We'll make them see us. Sabatello, get below. Get everything that'll burn and bring it up forward. I'm gonna look at those cans. There's a little gasoline left. See that they're blind. They've got to. Watch it. Stand back. The wind's got it. They ain't gonna see us. Martin, we're on fire! We're on fire! We're on fire! Burn through the deck. If it hits that paint, we'll get blown clean out the water. Sabatello, no blurry. Larry over the side. Oh. Justine, you get ready to jump. I don't know, man. If things get much worse, I'm going to write a letter to my congressman. You should have thought of that before. Thank you. 
for us now. Hey, them ain't Japanese planes. They're English planes. English. Justine and I no longer wonder how we survived. We know. We know that we were not alone.